I'm Rana, and as part of SIGGRAPH 2020, I'm excited to present our work, Point to Mesh, a self prior for deformable meshes. We are interested in reconstructing a surface mesh from an input point cloud, which is a long-standing problem in computer graphics and computer vision. In this work, we present a method for reconstructing watertight meshes from point clouds, where the prior is defined by a convolutional neural network. Instead of explicitly specifying a prior, it is learned on the fly from the, from the input point cloud without any pre-training. Surface reconstruction has been studied extensively for 20 years. The key challenge is that the problem is ill-posed which means there are many valid solutions. Consider the four points sampled from some 2D curve. You can imagine that there are infinitely many solutions that pass through these four points. So in order to pick a favorable solution, we should design some type of prior which captures the expected shape properties. But building a prior is challenging. Reducing what we know or can expect into a simple prior often oversimplifies the problem and can't encapsulate the wide range of possible scenarios. On the other hand, we also want to avoid handcrafting a prior for each scenario. This often results in defining a generic smoothness prior. Even though shapes are typically piecewise smooth, this generic prior isn't tailored enough to the current input, which can result in overfitting to noise. For example, observe the noisy bumps around the tail region. In this work, we introduce the idea of a self prior, where the prior is learned on the fly from the input point cloud itself. You can already see that the ridges on the dinosaur back are faithfully reconstructed while still removing noise and outliers. Starting with an input point cloud and an initial deformable mesh, a CNN iteratively deforms the mesh to shrink wrap the input point cloud. Specifically, the CNN weights are optimized to displace the vertices of the initial mesh such that it fits the input point cloud. This ensures that the reconstruction is watertight, which is a desirable property since real objects are solid. This is especially important for surface reconstruction since the input may contain holes or low density samples. We said we optimize the CNN weights to displace the vertices of the mesh, but why not just optimize the mesh vertices directly? Well, we said there are many valid solutions, and as it turns out, a direct optimization leads to an undesirable result. But if we optimize the CNN weights instead, their inductive bias acts as a powerful prior, which leads to a favorable reconstruction. This approach learns from a single input point cloud. The premise is that shapes are not random. They contain strong self-correlations across multiple scales. The optimized CNN weights act as a prior, which is what we call the self-prior. The self-prior encodes the expected shape properties and leverages the natural repetitions present within a single shape. Central to the self-prior is the global weight sharing structure of the CNN. On the one hand, convolutions are applied locally to extract salient features. On the other, the same local kernels are utilized over the entire shape. Optimizing kernel weights globally across the entire shape's surface inherently encourages local scale geometric self-repetition. So, in this work, we leverage the inductive bias of neural networks to learn a self-prior for surface reconstruction. The self-prior is, in a sense, magical in completing missing parts and removing outliers or noise. For example, reconstructing a mesh from a point cloud with missing regions using a smooth prior ignores the global 
char the, the character of the global shape, whereas the self part learns a more plausible reconstruction. We start with some input point cloud and then we use this to calculate the initial mesh. If we know the genus is zero, we can compute the initial mesh using the convex hull. For non-zero genus shapes, we can use other techniques and I'll touch on that a little bit later. The initial mesh is used as input to a CNN, which predicts vertex displacements and applies them on the initial mesh. The deformed mesh is then passed to a differential sampler, resulting in a sampled mesh. We calculate the distance between the sampled mesh and the input point cloud, which is used to update the CNN weights. We iteratively perform this update where the deformed mesh in the next iteration should more closely approximate the input point cloud. The CNN used in this work relies on our earlier work, Mesh CNN, which is a technique for applying CNNs on irregular triangular meshes. Mesh CNN learns deep features on the edges of a mesh, which have a fixed size one ring neighborhood of four edges. The Mesh CNN framework provides convolution, pooling, and unpooling operators, which are applied directly on the mesh edges. And in this work, we utilize these operators for defining the self prior. Traditionally, the inverse problem is formulated as optimizing some objective function, which contains an energy term E that tells us how good the reconstructed mesh M hat fits the input point cloud X. But remember, there are many reconstructed meshes which satisfy this condition. So a regularization term R is introduced. Traditionally, this is a handcrafted term which encourages smoothness. In this work, we want the network to automatically define the prior for us. This idea was first presented in, for images in deep image prior. Here, we say that the optimal reconstructed mesh M star is some parametrization of a neural network F with weights theta using a fixed random tensor C as input. So instead of optimizing for the best reconstructed mesh, we optimize for the best network weights, theta star, such that our energy term is minimized. Note that the network has a limited capacity, so it cannot reconstruct every possible mesh in particular, a fixed set of local kernels are optimized to displace vertices over the entire shape, which forces the network to infer global shape statistics and implicitly prevents overfitting. This unique structure defines a prior that leverages the representational power of neural networks to favor good solutions. The initial deformable mesh M defines adjacency information for the convolutions, pooling and unpooling used in mesh CNN. However, unlike mesh CNN, here our input features are a fixed random, random tensor per edge C. Since mesh CNN operates on edges, the network abstracts each random feature in C to a displacement vector per edge but we want to displace the vertices of the mesh. So for every single vertex, we average the edge displacements over all the incident edges, resulting in a displacement vector per vertex. This displacement is added to the vertices of the initial mesh, which result in the current estimate of the reconstructed mesh. Note that these displacements are differential and we initialize the CNN weights to give zero in the first iteration, which results in a reconstructed mesh that looks like the initial mesh in the first pass. The reconstructed mesh goes through a differential sampler. First, the sampler select randomly selects a triangle with probability proportional to the face area. Then a point is randomly sampled on the triangle surface whose XYZ location is defined by the three triangle vertices, which is how gradients are backpropagated through the sampler to update the CNN weights 
which displace the vertices. The losses computed by comparing the sampled reconstructed mesh to the input point cloud. Specifically, we use the bidirectional chamfered distance, which means for every single point in the reconstructed mesh, we take the distance to the closest point in the input point cloud and sum them, and also sum the distance from every single point in the input point cloud to the reconstructed uh, sampled mesh. In addition to the Euclidean distance, we also compare the normals from the input point cloud and the reconstructed mesh. In practice, we employ this framework in a coarse-defined manner. First, we use a low-resolution initial mesh, which is roughly a few thousand paces. Then we run 1,000 iterations of this procedure and pass the reconstructed mesh to a robust, watertight manifold technique which increases the resolution and smooths the result. Then we pass this high resolution input into a higher level, which, with, which contains a newly initialized network and random tensor. And we rerun this optimization, course final optimization procedure again for a thousand iterations. And this process is repeated until we reach the desired resolution. Consider the following example with this input point cloud and corresponding initial mesh. When optimizing the CNN weights, the mesh enters this difficult second order cavity. However, if we optimize the same exact objective, but optimize the mesh vertices directly, you can see that it becomes trapped in a local minima. So here we see how minimizing the objective energy term is not enough. We need some type of prior and we see here that the network behaves like a powerful prior and encouraging self-similarity helps it avoid poor local minima. Here you can see more iterations on the G example. Another example of how the self-prior convergence looks. Notice how the low-density sampled regions are still accurately reconstructed. And another example. And finally, I have an example with fine details. We used a 3D scanner to scan the objects pictured above. It's a bit difficult to see, but there are many holes and low density patches where the scanner failed to properly sample the surface. Yet our reconstructions cover these regions well. And here are some more intermediate convergence results. Here's some more results on 3D scanned objects and note the, uh, there's a quite a large hole in the cactus at the bottom there. A bit difficult to see. We compared against existing techniques on the task of denoising. The most popular method for surface reconstruction is Poisson reconstruction, um, which uses a type of smoothness prior. In this case, it overfits to noise. Point clean net is a data driven deep learning technique for denoising point clouds and we apply Poisson reconstruction for visualization purposes. Deep geometric prior also learns reconstruction from a single shape, but has a few differences compared to our technique. First, it optimizes local patches to the input point clouds, so it doesn't produce a watertight surface. Second, each local patch is optimized separately without any global shared weights. Finally, we can see that the self-prior naturally removes noise from the corrupted info. Compared against the same technique on the task of handling missing parts. In particular, existing techniques do not utilize any genus information, so they may introduce topological errors and reconstruct a surface with an incorrect genus. 
Also, without global weight sharing over a single water tight surface, it might be difficult to properly fill holes. Since the genus is provided implicitly to our method via the initial mesh, this provides control and can be seen in as an advantage for hole filling. Starting with this input point cloud, Poisson re reconstructs a surface with incorrect topological holes. We apply a low resolution octree to close incorrect holes and create a coarse mesh, which is used as the initial mesh. The result is a topologically correct mesh, which preserves details from the input point cloud and does not overfit to incorrect low density regions. So using a coarse resolution octree on the result of Poisson reconstruction is another approach for estimating initial meshes with an unknown genus. A challenging problem is normal orientation on point clouds, where an oriented normal always points outside the surface. We estimate normals on the point cloud where the angle error to the ground truth is displayed using a heat map. So red is high error and blue is low error. Since Poisson uses the normal orientation to build a boundary condition, the reconstructed mesh contains undesirable artifacts where normals are unoriented. On the other hand, our approach can be agnostic to the normal orientation by taking the absolute value of the dot product between the normal vectors in the loss computation. In conclusion, we propose a method for surface reconstruction, which learns a self prior on the fly from the input point cloud itself. The self prior is effective at removing outliers and noise. And key is the global weight sharing property, which implicitly favors good solutions. So looking forward, there are some interesting follow-up directions. It would be cool to see what other 3D regression applications might also benefit from the use of a neural self prior. Another interesting route is to learn the initial course mesh, which could make it more robust to non-zero genus cases where Poisson reconstruction may produce topological errors. Finally, another avenue to consider is using shrink wrapping across different shapes for connectivity correspondence. So uh, I hope I can give you some take home messages. First of all, it is possible to learn from a single shape and shapes are not random. In particular, they contain strong self-correlations, self which are exploited by the self-prior, or in other words, the self-prior learns the shape. And we're really only in the early phases of learning 3D regression. And it will be really exciting to see what else we can do with uh, 3D neural nets. Thanks a lot for listening and our code and examples are online and feel free to get in touch with me regarding this work or any other questions in general.